Hey guys, welcome back. Eric here. Today I'm going to take you through just a few small items on the Arduino Sane Smart 4-Wheel Drive Rover and show you where to get the code. Here we have my uh, Sane Smart 4-Wheel Drive Rover. And uh, today I'm just going to give you a couple of quick tips um, and a place to get the, the code. Uh, a lot of people have been asking on the uh, by message and uh, on uh, Google Plus where to get the code. I was a little reluctant to post it, but uh, in the interest of helping a bunch of people out, uh, some code is better than no code at all. Mine is by far not optimized, but we'll give it a shot. What I'm going to show you here is uh, a tip on the battery. So what we have here is the lithium polymer 1000 milliamp hour battery pack. These are uh, used for uh, electric helicopters and various RC items. What we have here as well is a cheap uh, overseas battery charger, a lithium polymer charger. I would not trust these unattended. I do supervise this when I'm charging. These things are uh, under five bucks, so you can only expect so much. But uh, this is the handy thing for most people know lithium polymer you don't want to discharge it down too low or you'll damage it permanently so what I use are these battery monitors these I believe I paid about a dollar 75 on eBay for and what you do is you plug these in uh, into uh, these pins here and I just have to remember which way it goes and that's what we get and this battery is showing half charge and it will give us an audible alert when we get down too low. This you can just plug in when needed and tuck it into the rover with some velcro down there. Works really well, much better than the stock batteries. I highly recommend going this route or an even bigger battery would be a lot better. But uh, the prices on these are extremely reasonable and does the job for most running. I don't know how long everyone else lets their rovers run, but mine's only usually about a minute or two before I go back to rewrite some code. So uh, that's about it. In the description below, you're going to find a link to a Thingiverse thing, and that is this rover. The purpose of posting it there is it's a very nice place to host it. Everyone can find it. There'll be some pictures, some instructions. The, like I mentioned, the code is by far not optimized, but it will do. You just need to adapt it for your pin configuration on and your Arduino. And uh, you can just go ahead and upload it. Anything you don't need, like the speaker I have on mine, just go ahead and comment it out. Um, also, for a close, I want to give a big shout out to Jaden Edwards. You'll find a link to his YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to put it in the description. And as well, it's embedded in the Arduino code on Thingiverse. He was kind enough to help me out initially with a couple questions I had on the code. He went out of his way to offer some advice and some input. He's offered me advice and input on my YouTube channel and produces some fantastic videos. you got to check out his channel. Uh, ArduinoRobotics.com, I think, is his website. Uh, may have that wrong but uh, I think the channel is now Arduino Robotics. Check it out you'll enjoy it. There's a huge amount of content, some good stuff on YouTube video creation, all kinds of just great things. He puts a lot of effort into them. Anyway, thanks for watching.